To start things off, this is not a rant video, rather a video of trying to understand how it has taken so incredibly long to bring Pokemon Home compatibility to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It was first revealed before the game's release in November that home compatibility would be coming spring of 2023. And as we're recording this video, it's May 5th, 2023, with absolutely zero news since. For this update, there is very, very little Game Freak actually has to do. First, they need to implement Pokemon Home to be able to read and move data from Scarlet and Violet, which, as someone who doesn't know coding, sounds relatively easy. Pokemon Home also needs the display models, and on the phone version, they're just the in-game models ported over. And on the Switch, the models are just the official art of the Pokemon, with some different shading. And the official artwork for every Pokemon, and form, which for Gen 9 have been out since February, excluding 3-segment Dudon Sparse, Family of 3 Mousehold, and every Squawk ability, except Green for some reason. Apart from that, there is really nothing else they need to implement except move and ability summary screens, Pokedex entries, and must be able to make sure that there are no issues with past Pokemon being brought up to Scarlet and Violet. Battle from competitive events and ranked battles have already been implemented in an update that came earlier this year. So what's the holdup? Why have we waited almost six months for a feature in a storage app that we pay $19.99 for annually? Your guess is as good as mine. This wouldn't be such a terrible problem if Game Freak hadn't been so vague about when it'll release. In Japan, it was stated to be released early 2023, and personally, I don't consider May early. But we really have no right to be upset, since ever since before the game was released, they said it was going to come spring, which runs from March 20th to June 21st, so we might still have a month or more to wait for this update. It's also likely that the reason it has taken so long was to allow the starter Terror Raid Den events to hold more reason, since as of right now, this is the only way to obtain Greninja, Charizard, Cinderace, and many more inside of your Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. My guess for its release will be late May, as that's when the update for BDSP and Legends Arceus was released last year. Personally, I'm frustrated, but okay with the fact that this update has taken so long, since it's allowed me to build up a bunch of shinies to transfer in all at once when the day finally comes that Pokemon Home and Scarlet and Violet will be connected. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe, as we are getting close to 400 subscribers. But anyway, everybody, take care.